Tell us about um, this, the, the deal with Inkscape, what it means, sure. why you guys are doing it, and what that means for the business, and maybe some broader implications. Sure. So, you know, we have a philosophy of the bigger the better in terms of data, and this is kind of along the same path where Inkscape's been, you know, one of the most aggressive providers of data, aggressive in the sense that they've really made their data ubiquitous in the marketplace. So we've been in discussions with them for a while about uh, partnering and licensing their data set. Uh, and it's really important for us for a variety of reasons. One, um, it's a pretty large data set. You know, it, it basically doubles our national footprint. So we're with uh, the addition of the Inkscape data, we're now at 20 million plus households nationally, which is a little less than 20% of the TV viewing universe, which we think is really important. Um, you know, the industry, we think a lot of the challenges in the industry stem from the fact that we're still kind of using a panel-based method for uh, currency and for kind of measuring uh, television. We think that it's really important for the industry to move to more census-based measurement. And this is kind of along that quest is to aggregate additional data sets. The other thing the Inkscape data helps us with is to kind of uh, fill voids that uh, the MVPD or set-top box data uh, has. So for instance, OTA over the air and OTT are not necessarily captured uh, within the set-top box. So by combining both the set-top box data with the Inkscape data, we're able to get kind of better cross-screen measurement on services beyond just pay TV, whether it's OTA or OTT. Um, the other important part is it, it gets our footprint out to all 210 DMAs. A lot of our work is on a national basis, so being able to provide you know, measurement and analytics on a national level across all markets we think is really important. Um, and then the other component of the Inkscape data that's really interesting is just how uh, quick uh, the processing is. We basically get data in near real time. It could be delayed maybe up to an hour or two versus set-top box data, which can take you know, up to one to three days uh, in general. So getting uh, data in more responsive, uh, you know, quicker turnaround time we think is really important in providing measurement and analytics to programmers and advertisers. What about the duplication between you know, the data you get from the set-top box and what you'll get from the glass? Um, actually, in this case, we feel the duplication is really essential because what's interesting about the set-top box data is you're actually capturing all viewing within the household uh, or at least what's running through pay TV. Uh, versus just one particular manufacturer. You know, in the case of Inkscape, they aggregate you know, large amounts of data, second by second data, uh, from Vizio uh, devices. And in some cases, Vizio you know, may not be the only TV in the household. Um, so while national representation is really important, we also feel that household level representation is really important, meaning only until you have a full view of viewing in the household can you really get a sense as, in terms of like where the viewing trends are, what the, the share of consumption is from pay TV to OTT, or even just from one room to the next, even though TV is bought at a household level kind of rolled up, being able to uh, have a line of sight of viewership across all devices in the household is really important. That's where the, the MVPD data is really important in augmenting uh, the ACR data. So the two actually work really well together because they complement each other in different ways. And Ben, just give us a quick catch up on 605, how things are developing and sort of what's going on there and what your roadmap is. You know, we're just, we're staying really focused on just, you know, building out the data set and um, offering, you know, planning, measurement and optimization services. And these days attribution is a real focus area for, for the industry. We feel that the work we do in providing full funnel attribution by being able to measure both brand lift and sales lift is really important. And based on a lot of the work that we've done recently, we've seen that TV makes a, an enormous contribution uh, to upper funnel metrics, whether it's brand awareness, brand favorability, uh, and brand preference. And only until you measure that, I think, you know, do you really get a sense of TV's full impact. So the one thing I would say going forward for attribution in the TV space is not to focus solely on bottom funnel or sales attribution, even though that's incredibly important for advertisers, there's no doubt. Having a more holistic view of, of lift across the full funnel we think is really uh, essential. So a lot of the work we're doing these days is really focused on that. And then looking at the different elements of a campaign to see what's driving brand 
ratings and what's driving sales rating, whether that be the creative or the audience or the context. We also think context is really important, especially in TV and seeing that play out in some of the attribution work that we've seen is, uh, is really exciting.